Hey guys, welcome to Tino Tech Hacks. If today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share with your friend. Today we are going to look at how to insert a picture into Microsoft Word. Without wasting much time, let's quickly begin. So I will open my Microsoft Word. Okay. As it opens, I go to blank space. So let's imagine I have a document already that I want to insert a picture. So I have copied something which I would like to paste here. Um, okay, so it is pasted. So this is what I copied from ChatGPT and uh, I would like to paste it. Okay, I think, uh, let me use the other option, so this will be better for me. Okay, the fonts are size 11, let me just highlight everything and then increase the fonts to 14. Alright, so as I have my documents like this, let me take this part, alright. As I have my document like this, I can insert pictures, shapes, and images. Okay, when I go to insert, there are multiple options there. Those of you who watch our video on how to insert a table, we have the option there. Then we have pictures, we have shapes, we have icons, we have 3D shapes, we have smart art, we have charts, and then we have screenshots. Today we're going to work with only pictures and then shapes. So I want to insert a picture in this work. So I'll just click on pictures, then I'll choose this device. If I want to get a picture from online, I will go to stock images or online pictures. If I click on online, it's going to give me an option to search the type of pictures I'm looking for online. So, I would like to start with taking a picture from the device first before we come to check for that of the online. So, I'll click on this device. Immediately, I click on that. It takes me into my PC. Any picture that is in the PC is going to show. So, I can go through and then select the type of picture I'm looking for. So, um, I can also come to pictures. And then any picture that is there, I can use it. If I have pictures on desktop, I can go to desktop and then choose pictures from there. If I have pictures on downloads, I can click on downloads and then go there and then select pictures from there. Then I can also go to document or any other folder that I feel I have saved a picture. I think I can go there to get it. Now, this particular one is just for demonstration purpose. So we're just going to take any picture of our choice and then use it. So, I have some logos here, uh, I want to use this logo, I will click on it and then I will click insert. Now, as I click insert, because of where my cursor was placed before I went in for the picture, the picture is going to be placed at any place, that's, sorry, that specific place in my work. So, I will have to decide where I want to keep the picture. Because I don't want the picture to be at this point, maybe I want it to be on the heading for me. I want the picture to be here. So I'm going to drag the picture from there to the top. So I'll click on the picture and drag. Now when I drag the picture, you will see that it is not dragging. Okay, it came. It came. It came. And then it came here. So this is the last point that the picture has reached. But I want to place it at the top here. That's the problem now. Dragging it up there is not going to work because of the position of the format in which the picture is. Now we have to do something. Now when you look here, you're going to see this icon here. It is called layout options. Layout options. So what I'm going to do now is I'll click on this. And then I'll go to square. Now, when I choose square, it means I can keep the picture anywhere I want it to be. 
There's another one here also called tight. It also have a different option. Then we have through, which also has a different option. Then we have top and bottom. It also have a different option. Then we have behind. It also have a different option. We will talk about each of the options later. Then we have in front. Okay, let me just quickly do that. In front means this one will be on top of this text. Behind means this one will go behind the text. So the picture will be behind the text. You can see that the picture is behind the text. In front, it will bring it on in front. Um, um, how do we call this one? This one is uh, one minute. This one is tight. It will also push the picture to where you want it to be. It to be. Then we have through. The text will be through the picture. Then we have the square, which helps you to drag the picture to where you want it to be. Now, I want to move the picture to this particular place. So I will just click on fix to position. When I click on fix to position, it gives me the option to drag the picture to where exactly I want it to be. That's where I want it to be. Now, because the picture is a little bit bigger, it has taken part of the text so I can reduce the size of the picture and then I can keep it there perfect okay we also have different formats or layouts or shapes that we want the picture to take so when I click on the picture and then I click on format picture you're gonna see that there are different types of um, layouts that will make the picture look depending on the type of frame I want. Some of them come with shadows, some don't come with shadows. Now this picture, because the picture itself has a white background, when I choose this option, it's not gonna show well. But when I choose a different option, you can see. When I choose a different option here, you can see. All right, so, I would want to choose something. We have other options here. We have this, we have this, we have that, we have that. Depending on the type of layout you are looking for, I can decide to reduce the size a little bit more and then it will look better. So we have different options and layout that you can choose. Depending on what you are looking for, there are many of them. You can see all of them here, depending on what you want to select. So what I've chosen is okay. All right, so that is how we set a picture into a word. I can drag it down here. I can drag it down here. I can drag it anywhere I want it to be. Because of the selection or the formatting options I chose, I can keep it anywhere I want. Okay, so let me set another picture and let's see. So quickly... Um, I will just go to insert again, then I'll go to pictures, I'll go to this device, then I will go to pictures, then I'll choose anything from here, I don't want to choose broken heart, I want to choose something different, so let me just choose this because I have this here. When you look at this picture, this picture is very big and it, it has taken all the space there. I can decide to reduce it. Now, when I try to drag it, look, it's not moving. I wanted to bring it to this side, but it's not moving. So I will have to click on this again. Then I will go to square. Then I'll go to fix to position. Now I can drag it to anywhere I want it to go. If I want it to be through or behind, I can just do this. And the picture will be behind you can see it right then if I want to format it I can choose this now when I choose this you can see that the picture looks different let me break it on top so that we can see how it looks like then let me choose my square now looking at the layout option I chose you can see it there I can decide to change it and then format it to different style different style depending on what I want so I think it's easy everybody can do that it's easy you can drag it and drop it wherever you want it to be when you choose wrap around mm, where's wrap around in front okay this you see it makes sure that the text is always at the bottom of the picture or on top of the picture you see then when you choose this also 
the text, the picture is, the text are around the picture. So, any option you want, you can choose it. Alright, let's try the other ones where we can bring the picture from online. So, we go to insert. We click on pictures, then we go to online. Then, what is my favorite picture I'm looking for? So, let this open quickly and let's see. There are a lot of pictures here. Mm, let me choose these birds. You can equally search for the type of picture you are looking for. Okay. So, I like this bird. I just click insert. The picture has been inserted. I can reduce the size and then I can format it. I choose square. Because I chose square, it pushes it to where it has to be. Then I can click fix to position. Then I can drag it to wherever I want the picture to be. That's it. It looks better. Can you see that? All right, let's try the third option. We go to insert, we go to pictures, then we go to stock images. Stock images basically are from a website called Pixabay or any other Yes, site. So this is from stock images. Probably I think it's from Pixabay. Let me just take this. This is a premium. So all of the pictures here, most of them are premium. This is not a premium picture. This is also not a premium picture. So I choose this one, which is not a premium picture. You can see it downloading. It is downloaded. I can reduce the size to any form or size I want. I can drag it upwards to anywhere I want it to be. Let me still reduce it. Okay. Then uh, let me just format it quickly and then I can drag it wherever I want it to be Yeah, so this is at the top edge of the work. I can keep it here also I can also give it something like that I'm done If you enjoyed the lesson today, don't forget to subscribe Don't forget to like and don't forget to put a comment. I would want to see your comment share with your friends See you another time. Bye. Bye